Today I'm going to show you how to rust metal for pennies on the dollar. We have these uh, metal panels we just put up for our backyard fence. We have a hundred feet of fencing and we are rusting it to make give it a more of an effect that we want. The recipe for the mixture is two cups of hydrogen peroxide, four tablespoons of vinegar, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. And you mix that together, let it all dissolve, all the salt dissolve, and then you put it in a spray bottle and just apply it. Uh, but first you have to degrease it. The best degreaser we found was a bottle of hot water with a liquid soap in it and then just spray that on it. Wipe off the uh, excess uh, oil that the manufacturer put on the uh, metal to keep it shiny. And then once that's done, you can apply the mixture. This is a super simple process. Um, this is a uh, bottle that just has soapy water in it. So you just spray that on it, on the metal, give it a nice coat, and then just wipe it down and that'll take off any of that grease that the manufacturer put on the metal to keep it uh, shiny. And then once that's done, you can let that dry for a few seconds and then you'll take your bottle of your mixture with your peroxide, vinegar and salt and just slowly spray that on and do a nice even stroke. When you do it, it's almost like you're going to be painting and the reason you don't do that is so you don't have any splotches in it. And you can see it immediately starts to rust the metal. I gotta go mix up some more mixture for this. What we used for our fence was four bottles of regular size peroxide, a quart of vinegar, and just salt that we had on hand. And that's it, and just mix it up and put it on. So once your rusting is completed, um, just rinse it off really lightly with water to uh, get the, any of the salt washed into the ground. After you rust the fence, uh, you definitely need to seal it because it does wipe off on your clothes and actually stains them pretty bad. So we're gonna go ahead and seal it. Uh, there's several sealers out there um, and they're, they're quite pricey for a gallon is, is you know upper hundreds. We decided just to go ahead and use Rust-Oleum Clear Sealer. Uh, it's UV protected and we're gonna give this a shot. Um, it uh, seems to be going on real well. I let it dry, didn't wipe off anything. If we have to recode it down the road, no problem. Um, I end up getting these for, on sale for uh, two for seven bucks. So it's not a bad deal. So we'll go ahead and just uh, do it with this. And that's it. Um, it turned out really super awesome. So if you have any questions or comments, let us know and we'll be happy to help you out on the mixture or whatever you need. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and we sure appreciate watching DIY on the house. Yeah.